Hello everyone, welcome this is SEC Fanatic and I am your host Matthew Johnson. Thank you guys for listening wherever you are, whether it be on iTunes with your ears, or whether it be on Stitcher for your ears, or whether it be on YouTube with both your eyes and your ears, however you're listening, thank you for listening. Uh, don't forget to, if you like the show, uh, just help us out by giving it a rate, share, like, comment, etc. I love interaction. It's fun. Uh, but again, thank you guys for your time. Today we are going to be talking about Auburn, an Auburn preview. Just to give you a preview of what SEC Fanatic has going forward into the future. This year, or this week, we have our last SEC preview in the Auburn Tigers. Next week, we are going to be previewing, I guess, all of the SEC teams. I'm going to take all of the previews that I've done, put them on, in one video just to give you guys a little bit of a recap for a week in case there's a team that maybe you guys missed and you can't find the episode. I'm just going to put it all, all the football previews, all in one episode just for you guys in the week. After that, we're going to be bringing in uh, a guest, a special guest, Chris Willett. He was in our second episode. We're going to be bringing him in to preview week one of the college football season. It is right around the corner, and so I personally am very excited about that. In case you haven't watched this show before and you're wondering, what is this exactly about? Well, SEC Fanatic is basically just a podcast that is also a YouTube video that mainly deals with SEC sports from a fan's perspective. I'm not, you know, someone working for this giant company. I am not someone who has an inside connect. I'm looking at all this from the same perspective that you are, from a fan's perspective, and just trying to give a little bit of insight and analysis from a fan's perspective. And plus, I'm just a sports fanatic. I'm a sports lover. And thus the name, SEC Fanatic. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This week, we are previewing for the last uh, preseason preliminary, I've been calling it, taking a look at all the SEC teams. It's our last team, and like I said earlier, it's the Auburn Tigers. They won the SEC West last year with a season-ending total of going 10-4, and 7-1 and one in the SEC. Now, I've said a lot in these videos, inconsistency. I've said that word a lot, meaning that teams have not been able to do things well consistently. Now, no team has been more true at that than the Auburn Tigers last year. Inconsistent was what the Auburn Tigers were. I mean, that's just being brutally honest. They lost to LSU on the road, which they haven't won since, I think, the 90s. They then rebounded and beat the number one teams who were undefeated, Georgia and Alabama, back-to-back weeks. And then they go and lose their final two games in the Mercedes Dome. So just a very inconsistent team. At times, they were probably good enough to be national champions. At times... They probably deserve to have been in the bottom of the SEC. Again, just being brutally honest about last year's Auburn Tigers. Their strengths and weaknesses kind of just varied per game. Sometimes it was play calling. Sometimes it was just the fact that they got thrown all over. Sometimes it was the fact that they couldn't run. Sometimes it was the fact that they couldn't throw. It's hard to put like one nail in the coffin of the Auburn Tigers and say, this is what their issue is. Because they really didn't have just one specific issue. Now, moving forward into 2018, they go into a place that they have not won in. The Mercedes Dome in Atlanta against the top 10. They'll be be in the top 10. I think they're number 5. Washington Huskies. Here's an interesting stat. Auburn has not beaten a top 20 team in week 1 since 1957. And for those of you who are Auburn fans, you'll know that that is when Auburn won its first national championship. That is how long it has been since Auburn has beaten a top 20 team in week one. That Auburn had a 10-win season last year. Auburn has not done that twice. Auburn has had not had two 10-win seasons since Pat Dye was the head coach in 1988 and, ni- and 1989. So the stats are not good for Auburn. 
And so Gus Malzahn is going to have to try to look to turn this team around and turn a corner that hasn't been done by Auburn in a long time. And might I add, he has to do it with one of the worst, maybe not worst, one of the most brutal schedules in the SEC, if not in college football. How is he going to do that? Where's the talent? Well, let's take a look. Auburn returns, probably his biggest returner, is what everyone's talking about, starting quarterback Jarrett Stidham. He will have naturally be the centerpiece of that offense. Likewise on defense, Deshaun Davis, middle linebacker, the corner piece of that defense coming back. They also return all of their wide receivers, even though two, Will Hastings, Eli Stove, have gone down with an ACL injuries. Auburn does not know when Will Hastings and Eli Stove will be back. They return a good wide receiver core. They return a good quarterback, if not a great quarterback. Two issues on offense and that are going to be the two biggest issues. They return a solid defense as well. Where their issues are, offensive line, one starter coming back. Running backs, no starters coming back. Cam Martin is expected to be the leading rusher. People are kind of unsure because of his size. He tends to be on the smaller size for an SEC running back. People are kind of unsure if he's going to be the starter throughout the whole season. The biggest question that Auburn is going to have to face is that offensive line. How quickly do these guys gel? We know they have a lot of talent. Auburn's bragged on talent since these guys have come in from high school. But how do they develop that talent? Very, very, very quickly against a very, very, very talented Washington team that returns. It is number nine in the country as far as returning starters come. This is a very experienced Washington team. So I'm not going to get into week one predictions there. Again, we're taking a look at the Auburn Tigers as a whole. I either see them going one of two ways. I either see the Auburn Tigers defying lots of people's expectations and doing extremely well. I see Auburn, I see Auburn as a team that wins the ACC championship and makes the college football playoffs, or I see Auburn falling short of 10 wins, which would be a disappointing season. I do not see an in between. I don't see Auburn winning 10, 10 um, I don't see Auburn getting 10 wins and not going on to be a successful team. I don't see anywhere like I don't see anywhere in that middle ground. I see either really good or really bad. But not necessarily everyone agrees with me. So let's get on to the unbiased season predictions done by SG1 Sports. SG1 Sports predicts that Auburn will go 10 and 2, 7 and 1 in the SEC with wins basically over everyone and with either a loss to Alabama or Georgia, with both those games being on the road. Also, maybe one trip up loss, maybe say a loss to Washington in the opener, and then they can run the table, and then maybe there's a loss to Alabama or Georgia. Or maybe there's a loss to another team that rises up, maybe a Texas A&M, a Mississippi State, that just kind of comes in and trips up Auburn. So that will be a very interesting team to watch here. Thank you guys for watching again. This has been SEC Fanatics Preseason Preliminary. God bless. I hope to see you all soon.